How many four-letter words can I use? <laughs> <laughs> Transfers to a double. Cheddar is driving. Nothing yet. Take down Michael Cheddar. Oh, Nick, I'm a top guy, so I love top wrestling. Hale tries to take him. He does. Maximus Hale the fall. So I think I think that wrestling wrestling is 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 the greatest sport on on, on, on earth. Well, you can never say never. Gable Stevenson is going to the NFL. Nick Costco here for On3 Sports, another edition of On3 Wrestling. Coming to you right as this news just broke. And something that I didn't see coming for the Olympic gold medalist, two-time NCAA wrestling champion from Minnesota, Gable Stevenson has signed with the Buffalo Bills. Makes sense on the surface. Sean McDermott, head coach of the Bills, is a wrestling guy, a former wrestler himself. A lot of respect for the sport. Insane news. We've seen similar tryouts like this. You know, Brock Lesnar comes to uh, the front of my brain, former national champion from Minnesota as well. Tried out for the Minnesota Vikings, played in the preseason. We know how his career ended up panning out. Eventually went to MMA was a UFC heavyweight champion, of course, a WWE superstar. Stevenson, a little bit of a different path. He goes from the college level, wins his Olympic gold medal, comes back for one more year, wins another NCAA national title, still has the one-year of eligibility, and over the past couple of years, Stevenson has been teasing a return to college wrestling, possibly. I know as of late on his Instagram story, he was – posting wrestling pictures and his weight and uh, some other workout photos like he was thinking about coming back to college and you'd have to go back to last season around this time in the spring where Minnesota said they would welcome him welcome him back and they were hoping to get him back ultimately he did not go back to Minnesota despite having the year of eligibility there's been rumors that other schools could get involved for his for his services but he still had his deal with the WWE And then that really didn't pan out for him. And you go back to the Olympic trials of this year here in 2024. So we're recording this right. You know, this is this is what May 31st right now. Go back to April and people are wondering, is Stevenson going to be able to show up? Or if you go to the Olympic, you know, go through the Olympic trials, is he going to be able to show up and try to wrestle off for that 125 kg spot, get it back? And he didn't. And, And I think what happened was, because of his WWE obligations at the time, he couldn't do it. I don't know the ins and outs of the language of the deal, his contract, but he couldn't do it. And then he was released from his WWE deal. It was roughly a week or two after the Olympic trials. Spots already had. Now, again, great representative in Mason Paris on the freestyle side. The guy who Stevenson actually has beaten before, of course, you know, going back to their college days. So he'll, but he's off to Paris. Stevenson did not return to wrestling. He has not been in wrestling since 2022 when he walked off the mat with his shoes staying on the mat, you know, took him off, did his backflip, all that good stuff in Detroit and NCAAs. And that was it. And then it was off to the WWE, see what he could do from that standpoint. And he's always been teasing a return of, you know, what could what, what could be next. He was he was doing some MMA training down, I believe it was Kill Cliff down in South Florida. So MMA is always an option. And you, go, uh, you, you compare him to the career trajectory of Brock Lesnar, who went from the mat, he went to football, went to MMA. WWE was the last thing he did. And arguably what he's most known for these days is his long reign as a WWE champion, one of the faces of the promotion, over the last you know decade plus or even longer at this point, I don't keep track of the WWE uh, really that much. So Steve Sim tried his hand at, at professional wrestling, didn't work out. Always had the option to come back to college if he so if he chose. Now, regardless of how this NFL stim works out, I can't see him coming back to college now for wrestling. Could he make another Olympic run? I mean, he's still relatively young for the sport. You know, we see guys like Kyle Dake. He's considered old. He's in his early 30s, but he's considered old as he goes to Paris this summer for his Olympic run. Stevenson's only 24 years old, so why not take an opportunity right here to go to the NFL? He could always come back to wrestling. How that would look, I'm not sure. The MMA transition is always going to be there as well when you look at, I would say, maybe over the next, cor- the next course of the, what, next five to seven years, he still has that option. 
I don't know how his NFL career is going to pan out. I don't know what position he's going to play. I don't know if he's going to be on the defensive line. He's going to be, uh, you know, a defensive end. He's going to be a linebacker. I, I don't know what he's going to be. I mean, we know he weighs pretty much all between 260 to 280 pounds when you can put him out there. How it's going to work, no idea. I know Sean McDermott is not going to take this lightly. Uh, the Bills, I know most of what people think about the Buffalo Bills, you're thinking – that's a team that can't get over the hump, can't get by the Kansas City Chiefs in the playoffs. Questions about Josh Allen, no questions about Josh Allen. Uh, no more Stephon Diggs, whereas the you know, they, they had to release a lot of guys because they were uh, basically scrounged around for pennies at that point in terms of their salary cap. Gable Stevenson going to be in the NFL. Does he make the regular season roster? History would say no. Where I Could I put it past him? No, I can't because he is that just of a freak of an athlete. I know there's been discussion around social media that people would rather see him in a combat sport. They'd rather see him at least after his run in Tokyo at the Olympics, after he won the gold medal. They wanted him to say, you know, you're still really young. You're one of the most dominant pound for pound wrestlers in the world. Why not finish out your college career? Or if you don't want to use that final year of eligibility, stay in wrestling Go for at least one more Olympic cycle for the 2024 games, which are coming up in a little over, uh, let's just, what was it, a little over a month now as it stands with the calendar. If you do that, or you know, maybe even two months at this point, but still the point remains that they are this summer in Paris. Do that, maybe win another gold medal. You don't necessarily have to go for a third gold medal. You know, Some of these guys that have been on Team USA, Kyle Snyder for one, former three-time national champion from Ohio State. He won an Olympic gold medal back in 2016, took silver at the rescheduled 2020 games. He's on his third Olympic team this year, not saying Gable Stevenson wouldn't be capable of that, but he wouldn't necessarily have to do that. Maybe if he won a second Olympic gold medal in some people's minds this summer, then you make the tra transition to MMA. Then you go to the WWE, or maybe you even try your hand at the NFL. He had multiple tryouts. We saw his Instagram story post uh, workouts at the – uh, with the Buffalo Bills, and I believe he went down and tried out and worked out with the Miami Dolphins as well. And again, on the surface, the signing by the Bills makes sense based on McDermott's love of wrestling, his background in wrestling. Uh, this is very intriguing. It's obviously very big news in terms of the wrestling and the football communities coming together. And we don't know if it's going to pan out, but it's certainly going to be something to watch out for for Minnesota Gopher fans. Uh, fans of wrestling in general, can he make this crossover? Can he can he make this historic crossover? Now, if Gable Stevenson tried to play football in college, people wouldn't bat an eye as much because at that level, and it's nothing against the Division One guys, but there, there's obviously a huge jump when you talk about him trying to walk onto the Minnesota football team and trying to get some playing time there and working out at whatever position fits best for him compared to him just jumping straight to the NFL with no college football experience. Now, I'm not quite aware if Stevenson played football when he was younger. Would not be surprised if he did, you know, off the top of my head. But obviously, he didn't play at Minnesota. He just wrestled, and he's one of the best wrestlers we've seen over the last decade plus. How this pans out in the NFL, no idea. But all eyes are going to be on Buffalo's training camp this year, how he adapts. He's got, you know – you talk about the size, I know that that's always a concern. He's a big dude, don't get me wrong. Height-wise, he's not as tall as you would want for an NFL-caliber athlete. He's got the weight, he's got the athleticism, he certainly has a lot of strength, but these are different dudes. And you look at the, I, the most recent example I can think of, and it's been pointed out on social media a lot, is Adam Kuhn, who's a former uh, Michigan wrestler, uh, All-American. He's the Olympic uh, representative for the Greco-Roman side here in Paris this summer. Great, great wrestler, and if, you, if for those who don't know, Greco-Roman is all upper body stuff. There's no drop into the legs on takedowns. It's all upper body stuff. It's leverage, which is great for what you would consider for an offensive lineman, and he tried out for the Tennessee Titans. He was part of their training camp roster uh, as a – it was either training camp or it was OTAs, but it was in the summer. It didn't last too long, but he was, he was, he was an offensive lineman. And if you go back and look up the pictures of Adam Kuhn, in a Titans uniform. So it's just the helmet, 
helmet and shirts. That's it. Helmet and shirts. He's holding pads. He's sitting next to the other offensive lineman. Adam Coon's a big dude. I believe he's like 6'3, 6'4. And he, he weighed around, you know, 270 to 280. He's sitting up against these guys that are about 6'6 and they're about 320. And they, and they look like giants compared to him, who's also a giant. If you lo- look at these guys who are able to have this type of athleticism on the wrestling mat, it's just a different breed of athlete, different sport, different strengths, different athleticism. Can Gable adapt? I hope he can. I would love to see it because this is the path he has chosen. As a wrestling fan myself, I'm sure wrestling fans all around the world would rather see him on the mat competing for you know either whether it was his last year of collegiate eligibility or for the Olympics or make that transition to MMA because many do believe he could be a dominant heavyweight in MMA because he's already probably he, he probably the most accomplished wrestler to go into MMA especially if he got to the UFC and then you start teaching him striking give him a, a year or two to learn some striking get a couple fights under his belt he'll be he, he would be an absolute dominant force at the heavyweight division in MMA but it's going to be a to be determined and it remains to be seen we'll just have to wait and see what happens when it comes to a Gable Stevenson in the NFL looking forward to it uh, he's certainly going to be a, especially if he does well in training camp and through these workouts as the summer progresses, He's there's going to be eyes on him. There's going to be questions about him to the coaching staff, especially uh, Sean McDermott. But I I firmly believe if he is able to make an impression, uh, I'm not going to predict that he's going to make the 53-man roster when it comes to the regular season, but he can certainly be a fan favorite, especially if, if he actually gets some playing time, if he makes it that far into the preseason where we're talking about watching him at, you know, the end or linebacker, wh- wh- whatever the case may be. If we watch him in a preseason game, he's going to have his fan favorites. He's going to be a story to watch this preseason. And who knows? Maybe he has a positive impact on the Bills, whether he makes the team or not. He just brings that wrestler mentality. Maybe the Bills need that type of mentality injected into them going into the 2024 season. So something to watch out for. Can't believe it. So Gable Stevenson off to the Buffalo Bills just signed his contract, as it was reported by Adam Schefter. Today, you can, of course, check out the details on on3.com. Just search Gable Stevenson on three. Go to our five goats, our pro section of on3.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Nick Costco 59. Be sure to like and subscribe this video on YouTube. Check out all our other content at on three as well. I'm Nick Costco saying so long for another edition of on three wrestling.